Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm very excited to do something a little bit different. I am in my new apartment and I've been decorating for like the past nine months. It's pretty much complete, so there definitely will be an apartment tour this summer. But I wanted to do some vintage inspired DIYs for my place and thought I'd film them. And hopefully you guys like this video from me and it's not too random. Uh, we have some wall art. I DIY'd my lamp and I think it turned out really cute. And then a memory box slash display box idea as well. So if you enjoy this video from me, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments below um, or what your favorite DIY was. And also, if you like this whole style I have going on with all these curls, I do have a mini get ready with me over on my vlog channel. I do have a second channel where I do all of my travel vlogs and you kind of see more what my everyday style is like or if I'm on a trip, what I like to wear and how I like to do my own makeup and hair because a lot of um, my content is inspired by other people. So if you want to get to know me better, then I do have that channel and I hope you guys will check it out and subscribe. And anyways, let's just get started with this first DIY. The first vintage-esque DIY is great to add some character to a blank wall. You'll need a glass frame or a couple of them. I went with bronze and I got mine on sale from Anthropology over time, but I will have some similar ones linked down below. And my first design was using letters from you guys and some very old letters and envelopes that I kept from Canadian friends when I briefly lived in Europe in 2007. So I keep everything. I've moved around and the letters did naturally fade and have some wear and tear, which is great. But you can always manufacture this with some crumpling, tea bags, and if you don't have letters, do this with some friends. You can each write each other one and then another cute touch is adding postage stickers, which I found on Etsy. I planned the collage and I folded the letters to fit the shape so I'm not destroying anything that I might want to reopen later. And I'm using double-sided tape, just sticking each one down. You don't need a ton of tape as the layers of glass will wedge these in place, but it's nice to have a little bit more security with the design. Here I go adding in some stickers. And a big thank you to everyone who's ever sent me a letter when I had a PO box in Canada. I love them, wanted to display them, and will keep them forever. First idea, super quick and easy, and for the next frame I have this Paris postcards from Papyrus and I'm looking through to see which one has similar tones to the letters I picked out. I used quite a bit of pink so I added uh, this postcard that has some pink in the sky. I wanted more see-through with this frame and I went with dried flowers that I ordered from Etsy. You could use paper flowers from Michaels, make your own dried flowers. I'm picking these up very gently and creating a border around the circular frame. And this frame is a broken one, so again, if the glass can be wedged tight enough, you don't really need adhesive, but this one um, I definitely did, so I used tiny amounts of Gorilla Glue dotted under thicker portions of the dried flowers, and then I'm Gorilla Gluing the broken part of the frame. So far it's held up for me. If you have a broken frame or one you've thrifted that's just, you know, not the most secure, adding some Gorilla Glue and making sure to um, apply pressure for a minute is really going to make the DIY last. Using the Gorilla Glue under the flowers does make it a bit cloudy in that area, but I honestly really like the look and yeah, I thought it added something kind of different to it. The last one, I wanted to do Polaroid inspired. So I have this phone app called Instance and I imported old photos I had from 2007 in Paris and Italy with my family to fit the travel Europe theme going on. You can see how easy this app is to have a faux Polaroid filter and beams of light. And then I just sent them to CVS to print and cut them out. Finally, I hand wrote uh, the time frame of each picture and then to tie the three frames together, I added pieces from the other two frames and there we have it. Let me know which of the frames is your favorite. I think the Paris postcard and floral frame is the prettiest, but the other two have more sentimental value, so I love all three together. Next up, a memory box. I totally wanted to make one of these because Disney movies glorify these. Oh my god, especially in the movie Geek Charming, which is one of my favorites. If you guys haven't seen that movie, it's great. And I always wanted to make a box, but thankfully no one has passed away in my family, so I'm making my own memories that could maybe be passed down or just decor in your room to highlight your fave memories. 
I got this wedding dress preserving box. Uh, there's probably a better name for these, but Amazon is great to find them. And also Michaels, you can get crates for cheaper too. And I'm starting with a double-sided tape again, putting down some tissue paper as a bit of a border. And then I added my favorite dress that I wore in my favorite place I've ever traveled to, Croatia. I do have a full vlog of that experience if you want to see Dubrovnik. And uh, I added three super cute <laughs> love letters for my first ever boyfriend. So I'll always keep those. They're the sweetest. And I'm just adding some cord around them. I love getting photos printed, but I'm a little too lazy to make scrapbook or like a photo album. So I'm using a notebook from Chapters or um, Barnes and Noble, and I took the spiral journal out and I'm putting these photos so that they are protected. I wrote a little letter to self, not like a dear future me, but just a line detailing why I put in each memory. And also scents can be so nostalgic. I love the scent Maple Blondie from a small Canadian brand, so just in case I don't make these years from now, I'll have a reminder. <laughs> And then adding some photos and a face chart from the first sponsorship I ever did with CoverGirl and Flare Mag. I took this green striped ribbon. I love the texture and vintage look to it and then some lace. I didn't end up using the brown ribbon on screen but that's another really pretty shade to make this with. I never liked how this lampshade had such a crease so I'm glue gunning the striped ribbon. Then over top, the lace. Make sure you wrap to the inside so it stays put. On the bottom, I hot glued the ribbon around the base and once it was on there, I adjusted it so that it sit nice. Create a bow. I bought this ribbon because of the movie A Little Princess, one of my all-time favorites, and their bows on their hair looked super similar. I always like to make things that remind me of my other favorite things. And glue that medium-sized bow, add a button or a stamp, you can get these from Papyrus, and then I'm creating mini bows. I didn't even truly make a bow for these little ones, I found it looked neater to tie a knot and then loop and glue at the back. And then I added a stamp on the last bow as well. And I already have a lot going on in this corner, so I didn't want to go too overboard but bring in a special touch. So here's a look at the corner of my room. DIY room or apartment decor, home decor I should call it, and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more typically beauty content from me, but if you guys did like this video then of course let me know in the comments and I can come up with some more ideas to share. Also one more thing I wanted to um, let you guys know about, so when I got this bed frame it did have silver little, uh, what are those called, bullet things, and I really like gold accents and that's pretty much my whole place. So I just got a pen from Michaels and then literally like colored each little circle and it worked really well. So I will have that product linked down below as well as everything else listed. I'll try to find some similar items for you guys, but you can find most of it at a craft store. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. So um, yeah, I think that's all for me, but check out my vlog channel if you want to see more from me and um, thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. I will see you guys in my next tutorial, which is a Lucy Hale video, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. I have this cute short bob and makeup kind of similar to this, so yeah, get excited, and I'll see you in my next one.